So my and uh, Peter Howell's research is on the neural underpinnings of both fluent and disfluent speech. Specifically, we're interested in how um, self-perceived speech uh, is used to uh, control uh, the motor aspect of speech production. And we use a range of uh, modern neuroimaging techniques um, to do this. Um, we're interested in using FNIRs, EEG, and uh, fMRI data to try and triangulate um, the uh, underlying mechanisms of both fluent and disfluent uh, motor, speech motor control. Um, the work with Artinis um, is using uh, portable FNIRS um, equipment to try and uh, um, predict moments of disfluent speech in just uh, everyday uh, life. Um, this is an ambitious task, a complex task. It's not been done before. Um, uh, FNIRS data has been used to um, predict um, stuttering uh, speakers from uh, fluent speakers, but this has been purely in a kind of offline mode. So what we're doing is uh, actual real-time data analysis on the fly uh, with machine learning techniques to try and predict um, moments of disfluency uh, from the FNIRS data to try and uh, use as uh, biofeedback and uh, to change certain aspects of the experimental design. Right, let's uh, get the kit out and uh, see what's in the box. Okay, so we're in the lab now and we've got the Artenis kit delivered in this um, mysterious uh, cardboard box. So, uh, let's break it open and uh, have a look what's inside. Very cool, very cool indeed. So there's a little quick start guide, a um, little information pack to get us started right away. And there is uh, the uh, kit, what it's all about, behind the screen. Let's have a look. Whoa. All right. So, whew. Let's see what we've got here. Um, we've got the bright box. So this is where um, the power comes from and of course the information goes to. Um, connected to this, we've got our optodes. Um, we've got both our uh, receivers and transmitters. Um, and we've got quite a few in here. Um, and uh, you can see them they're each helpfully labeled transmitter 1, transmitter 2, etc., receiver 1, 2, and so on. Um, and of course, those will go into uh, the caps here. Um, we opted for the no holes caps, um, so we'll have to punch our own holes um, because we haven't figured out what the layout is yet. Um, but that's really nice that we're given the option to do that. We can decide our own optode layout depending on what's um, optimal for our purposes. Um, yeah, let's see what else we've got. We've got a few dongles, um, which looks like the Bluetooth uh, receiver, a handy memory stick, and uh, what's probably the um, license key for the Oxysoft software, of course, um, for all kind of data recording, pre-processing, and, and analysis. 
Um, and then, yep, yeah, these must be the clips that go onto the a given head cap. Um, and then we can pop in the optodes where we want. God, this is so cool. Um, then we have, you know, standard cable chargers. Um, it's nice that they give you uh, um, different connectors depending on where you are. We're, of course, in the UK, so we'll be using that guy. Um, but that's nice that we can go wherever, I suppose. That's the entire point. Super portable. Super portable. And um, I believe there's even more. So if we pop this up, yeah, check that out. So right away you can see the uh, the classic iconic um, Dutch clogs. Um, that's nice that they included that in there. Um, what else have we got? We've got uh, stickers and measuring tape. Um, no lab would be complete without stickers and measuring tape. Um, so we've finally got a lab now, I suppose. Um, hmm. I wonder what this is. Um, maybe the Bluetooth receiver for a computer that doesn't handle it. I don't know. We'll have to find out what that is. I'm not sure. Um, and then here we've got uh, what looks like a classic BNC cable. Um, we've got uh, a heart, a port sink. So, so yeah, here's um, a BNC. Uh, cable uh, along with the um, aux cables, um, and then we've got uh, the porter sink. Um, then the final things in the box there's the short channel uh, distance guards, um, which is a nice uh, addition, um, and then there's another set of these uh, guards here, so you get two sets. So, much easier for me to just show you how it works. So this is a medium head cap, let's see if it fits on me. Um, and you can see that it fits beautifully. Very fashionable head cap. Um, here we go. And then you can imagine a load of uh, optos coming out in various different places. The classic bright uh, power socket here. Uh, battery in it. And uh, yeah, there's no um, uh, connections to any kind of proper computer as well. It's all wireless. Um, and so I'd be able to wear this with the opto order arrangement doing uh, whatever we like. And I saw one of the studies, they looked at um, the hemodynamics of someone taking a penalty. Um, so England really needed uh, that kind of research to look into why the hell we couldn't score. Um, more than two penalties, um, but that's a side note. Um, and so, soon enough, we'll be punching uh, holes into the headgear um, uh, at our chosen uh, location, and it's really nice, this flexibility. Um, we'll have to go into it in more detail, check out <laughs> how it works, um, and uh, how, what quality of the data we can get in the lab. Um, so that's all to come very soon. Um, but for the moment, that's it.